Wildman, I'm here at Wildman, as you can see. A beautiful store, stocked with a lot of fishing stuff and hunting stuff and camping. Yeah, if you haven't been to the George Wildman, please come and visit them. But I'm with a fishing specialist today, uh, Kevin, and he's going to tell us a little bit more about today's uh, Wildman, Khalyun Derby, and how it works with a token and um, the tradition of the, uh, it used to be the arms and tackle one. Arms and tackle. And, but you, the, the Wildman, took it over. Yes, yes. Um, in last year, 2020, the shop was taken over by uh, new owners and we became a franchise of Wildman. We're the only Wildman in all of the branches that has a dedicated fishing section to it and, and then as well the hunting part of it. So um, we welcome everybody to come and have a look and come and visit us. The derby that we have is the annual Khalyun Derby that was always part of the old shop. It's like a... Um, how can you call it? It's like a, a, a legacy that we are continuing and building upon. And uh, with that, what we are doing is uh, we help the George Angling Club um, to have a, like a fundraiser for them, helping them um, getting prizes. And we are a major sponsorship as well with that, with the competition so that they can um, have funds available for the, um, for the leagues and for the summer leagues and uh, competition that they have in the Southern Cape. Um, what it has actually is, is in previous years you always had to have um, your Khalyun, you had to bring it into the way in this year or since last year we have been um, doing catch and release, we've been promoting it heavily on that and as that what happens is, is that we give a, everybody that bought a ticket, you get a token. Um, the token then what you do is when you catch a fish in the competition, you place it next to the fish and then uh, you take a photo 90 degrees of the fish with a token in the photo. Um, they then have a computer program that picks up the size of the fish in comparison with a token and that then works out to the millimeter the size of your fish that you want to have or that you've caught. Um, this year is the first year that we're also in the competition we brought in cash prizes for um, releasing your fish. You make a, a video where you release your fish there's five cash prizes um, that you can stand a chance to win when you release your fish. Also just to promote the whole catch and release side of it. Um, yeah, so that's basically what happens. Um, this afternoon we're going to be at Mujo's here in Nisner Road um, with the with prize giving. And hopefully there's going to be a, a few fish that came out. And we're going to have a nice um, uh, sc a screen saver or like a, a, a PowerPoint running there with all the fishes that were won or that were weighed in and then as well the handing over of the prizes and everybody that won a prize yeah okay so there you go you guys have it Get, uh, do you have any of those tokens that i can just show you yeah. how one of those tokens look okay so so oh, there you have it guys um that's that's really really nice because um like i said previously well you need so bad tasting you really want to put it back you don't actually want to catch it so, so there's a there's a token and that's how big it, uh, the token looked. Yeah, and as well what we did was with the token and environment and everything, we made the tokens out of wood. Oh. So for all the nasty fishermen that leave the stuff next to the water and so on. And this is just an environmental friendly uh, product that we made so that if it gets left behind accidentally, um, then it will be uh, safe for the environment on it as well. Good morning guys and welcome to today's uh, blowdown episode. Today's going to be an interesting one. Um, what we're going to do today is there's a big, big, big Khalyun Derby. The, the Wildman, Voltman, I don't know if it's Afrikaans or English, Voltman. Um, Khalyun Derby is on today. So yeah, we're going to be running around and interviewing anglers on the gear they're using, on uh, tackle they're using, on where they're fishing, why they're fishing there, and also what bait they're using. Um, so yeah, we're going to be uh, running around on the beach. I'm first here at Wilderness. First I'm going to stop at Waves, get myself a coffee because it's cold. And then I'm going to head over to Flat Rocks as our first spot. Um, and then also we're going to talk to um, Kevin. Um, he is the organizer from Wildman, uh, one of the organizers. And we're going to, because it's a catch and release um, fishing derby, Khalyun Derby, the yearly annual uh, Khalyun Derby. So we're going to be talking to Kevin from Wildman and he's going to explain exactly how the token works, how the WhatsApp groups working and everything like that. But yeah, let me quickly get a coffee at Waves 
uh, I'm gonna get myself one of the best coffees uh, around I'm gonna get myself some coffee at waves and then also some food for the road because I'm gonna be running I'm gonna be doing Jonas and I'm also going to be doing Grunfly so I'm gonna be running around doing a lot of kilom kilometers so let me quickly jump in here and uh, I'll see you in a bit when we're down at Flat Rocks okay so we are here at our first spot for today um, I've got two coffees I know that front shop pick is fishing here uh, you may have seen him on a couple of our videos he's been deep sea fishing with me a couple of times okay so that's why on a Saturday I am not spear fishing and I'm also not taking my boat out <laughs> that is massive swells and the sea is also very dirty so yeah I'm not going out in my boat in that surf launching or nothing but yeah I'm gonna be walking down these stairs now and then Francho is somewhere there on the rocks okay so just a little bit more on flat rocks um, I'm not a sure rock and surf I'm not a rock and surf angler but I know a lot of guys does come down here uh, good for shad good for Colstad good for Kalyun um, sometimes you do get cracker here um, yeah it's a very nice spot I know that some of us used to dive here as well but it's a little bit dangerous to dive here um, but yeah uh, other than that um, I don't know much about flat rock as I said I'm not a big rock and surf angler um, I don't have the patience of, of getting stuck I'll do a little bit of surf angling um, just uh, for, for cob um, and you can set your lines out but uh, the, the rocks I'm not a big fan of getting stuck and breaking off and tying everything back up again and breaking off and tying everything back I'm not a big fan of that so yeah but as you can see it is actually very nice to come down here on the on this little wooden stairs and path it's very beautiful and it's actually very safe down here as well so if you want to come for a decent walk um, come down here and walk with the kids and yeah We've got our first couple of angles just a little bit away from the, from the stairs. Morning, morning. You guys also uh, fishing in the derby? derby yeah. Ah, let's talk to the men. We're making a video about the derby. Let's talk to the men. Okay, so from where are you guys? Uh, from wilderness. Okay, locals, oh, local. locals, your local local fishing hole. That's it. Oh, jeez, the surf is big, eh? Oh, it is bigger than what you expected. Yeah. Okay, so what's what's the gear are you using? What bait are you using? Nice red Going bait there. A bit of red bait. Oh, did you take out yourself? No, 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 no. We bought the bait and just aged it a little bit. Okay. And then um, yeah. Normal, normal rig. Normal rig. Okay, so Nothing just a fancy. just a normal rig there. That's it. Okay, red red bait, and then the gear that you're using. Maxwell seven. Maxwell 7000, oh, length of your rod? 13 foot. 13 foot rod? Yeah. Okay, anything yet? Oh, we've had a couple of nibbles, but nothing taken yet. Okay. So hopefully we're on the right spot. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to keep continuing. See you guys later. Yeah, enjoy. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, Woo dangerous little cliffs here, it's quite a way down, I don't know if you can see on the video, but this is what the anglers do to get their fish, the guys that, uh, yeah firstly for the guys that haven't viewed my channel before, please subscribe, we are trying to go to the channel, <clears throat> so yeah please subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, leave a comment on what gear you're using, like in detail what tackle what bait what hooks eh, I'm getting tired here trying to navigate this with coffee in the comment section please write um, rod reel line um, bait hooks everything and the spot maybe if it's a hidden spot don't comment your hidden spot there but what spot you fish and uh, yo what was your catch in the day So here we've got Francois. Francois is uh, known to the channel already. 
also known as Gunther sometimes, but mainly Francois now. <laughs> so Francois just, uh, what's the spot called we're at now? Nape. Nape, okay, he just explain to me. Nape. Over there, um, those two rocks that comes together, that uh, that's called white, so it's, it's called the Nape. Those two rocks used to be a couple of years back, those used to be a lot close together, you can actually walk from the one to the other, but due to time and what do you call it? Over time, what? <laughs> what do you call the the, the, the rocks that are um, not there anymore? Oh, the clay. No, but the erosion. Due oh, to erosion. erosion. Due to erosion. Heavy. Hey, 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 here's a, here's a nibble here. Okay, so Francis fishing at the knife. Um, yeah. Francis, what, what bait are you using at the moment? I've got some red bait on now, which I took out about a week ago. But I've got a small little crab on there as well. So maybe for something bigger to bite. Okay, we... Whee, here comes the water. I don't want to get wet. Um, so yeah, Wilco... Wilco has also been on a boat with us, uh, spear fishing. Wilco calls it uh, a galloon crab. What? Yes, a small crab, a galloon crab. A galloon crab. So Wilco, he's taken one of your playbook. And uh, you... He's getting some decent knocks here. Uh, uh, Francho's size of hook that you're using? A 2 at this stage. Just a normal bait holder. But um, the guys like um, circle hooks as well. For galloon at this stage. Length of rod? Uh, 12 foot. 12 foot, he's got a 12 foot rod and about and 12 kgs line on here. 12 kgs line and a sea line daiwa. 50? Best, best cut troll in the world. Uh, 40. 40. A sea line daiwa 40. Okay, so that's the rod and reel he's using. Um, been very cold here yeah? in the shadow. The sun's about to come out there over the little hill. And uh, yeah, he's got one khali of 34 centimeters and one pole stack. So, um, but he didn't send in the Khalil, he said it's too small. Okay, so Francho's got a fish on here, um, but his sinker is also stuck. So the fish is sitting behind a rock, so he's trying to get the fish out at the moment. But he says it's definitely on. I don't know if you can see the, the rod's tip there shaking. You can see that there's definitely something on. But now to get um, to get it out, it's going to be a struggle. Game plan? <laughs> Hopefully, it comes loose. <laughs> okay. So you normally wait for the for the the waves to come in, and hopefully it picks it up. I mean, you can take it over the over the rock, but yeah. But that's How does it feel? Good. Decent? No, it's just more than fish. That's also happens. <laughs> And exactly for that reason, I don't do rock and surf. Exactly for what's happening here now. <laughs> Getting stuck and breaking off and having to do everything all over again. Ah, that's not for me. Oh, I hate getting stuck. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna continue. There's a couple of anglers uh, over there. I'm gonna go and see what they're catching or what they're using as bait and uh, rods and reels and gear they've got going. Um, yeah, I'm gonna continue down the beach and see what's happening. Okay, so we're at the next spot with the next couple of anglers, group, group of anglers, all from, from this area. That's correct, he's from George. From George. Okay, so they haven't had any luck. He's saying that the sea is very strong at the moment. Can you just explain what you mean with the sea is very strong? If you look at the back of the waves, it's breaking quite deep and it's got uh, quite a huge washout. It's putting back the water quite strong. So I don't have much hope for <laughs> catching anything. And maybe on the on the when the tide's going out a little bit more. Yeah, I believe it was quarter past eight was high tide, yes. so the tide is putting back at the moment, so hopefully it will go better. Okay, bait bait and gear that you're using? Bait at the moment, only a red bait quite rotten red bait oh, you won't nice mature red bait quite mature yes <laughs> okay so also also from from george no outsourcing outsourcing yes. yes we've got one from upstairs <laughs> okay bait you're using uh, same same bait uh, rods and reel you're using uh, sea line 30 with a 12 foot uh, uh, diver rod there we go okay so 12 foot over there Let's see what's going on here. We've got ooh, 
nice 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 okay let's see what's happening here you break off yeah, no, no. <laughs> That's, yeah, why, that's why I don't do rock and surf. <laughs> I'll may do a little bit of, of surf, but I don't like rock. I, I do the deep sea fishing and spear fishing. So yeah, it's uh, getting his. What you putting? The, tying the braid. Yes. Okay. The braid to the leader there. And then also using red bait. Yes, sir. Mm, there we go. Also on the red bait. Hopefully we'll get one now. <laughs> yeah. I must say, sea looks like a washing machine. No, there's waves breaking at the back and there's pulling you can see oh it's very dirty yeah okay i already explained i'm not diving today <laughs> <laughs> and i'm also definitely not going deep sea fishing today yeah i think i'm almost done here today oh uh, you're almost done yes. <laughs> okay yes, that's that's my kind that's my kind of angler <laughs> <laughs> oh my word okay Thanks. i'm gonna leave these guys and hopefully uh, we'll see some of them at the weigh-in with the uh, with the prize fish, they don't have any fish yet. A couple of black tails, but uh, no halyun yet. Uh, what's the chances of getting cracker here? Anything's possible. Yeah. Okay. Is, this, is this a spot that you fish normally? Yes. I like okay. Spot, yeah. Okay. What's it called? Uh, the knife. Knife. Okay. The knife, they yeah. just left the knife. Yes. Okay. We already explained why it's called the knife. Uh, couple of years back it used to be a knife now it's only a walk through <laughs> <laughs> okay we're gonna continue i think we're gonna head to corners next and see if we can find some guys over there maybe they all swart fly like a green fly we'll see if we can find some guys there and see if they've got some fish uh okay okay, okay guys so on my way back uh we there seems to be a lot of action on this side we've got another angler here also Angling in the Khalil Yeah, I forgot my token at home now. What did you forget? Your token? Yes. Oh. Is there anybody's token that you can borrow? Oh, no, no. Do you have, you have your own token? Oh, he forgot his token at home. So that's a bit of a problem. Have you caught anything? No. Okay, from this area? Yeah, from George. From George, okay. So this man's in a little bit of trouble. He forgot his token at home. We're gonna let Kevin explain how the old token system and the WhatsApp group and everything's working um, because it's a catch and release uh, derby this, competition this. Okay, so bait that you're using? And I put red bait. Oh, red bait. Did you take it out yourself? No. Oh, oh not a lazy fisherman. Didn't take out his red bait himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, rod and reel that you're using? Grand wave. Uh, that is... Grand wave, yes, we've got a grand wave. 40, 40? Yes. And the rod? Beastmaster. A Beastmaster. Oh, Beastmaster medium, 14 foot. Here we go, Samano, Beastmaster. Okay, we're going to leave him. Good luck. I hope that you get something. We're going to talk to the next guy and see what we can find out um, what he's up to. Okay, here we've got the next man. What did you catch? <laughs> Plastic. Some plastic. Oh, also fishing in the Khaljun Derby? Yeah. Okay, from where are you? Uh, George. George, another George man. Yeah. Okay, doing his part, taking some garbage out of the ocean for us. Yes. <laughs> what bait are you using? Oh, uh, bait Did you take out yourself? Yes. Ah, there we go. That's a proper fisherman. A proper angler taking out his own bait. When did you take out the red bait? A week ago. Week ago and obviously matured it. Let it uh, rot in a little bit. No, no, I put it in the freezer. Straight in the freezer, no rot and he must have a very dangerous wife. It's not allowed to, to let the let the red bait mature. Okay, rod that he's using, reel that he's using, uh, looks like a 2040 Shimano. 2040 yes. Shimano and true flex. Uh, what yeah. uh, length of the rod? 13. 13. 13 foot, okay. Any fish yet today? No, nothing. Nothing yet? Just small bites. Small bites, okay. We're going to continue on. Uh, we're going to go to the next angle and see if we can get something for us. Okay. Okay, so now we are at Groenvlei. It's just as you go through Sedgefield. 
Um, you turn right before you get Groen Fly. Um, yeah, there's another car coming. So uh, there's quite a lot of guys here. Um, I did not expect so many guys to be here. Um, so yeah, we are gonna go down here and talk to all the guys. We can we're gonna see uh, how many of the guys we can talk to. But like I said, please um, check out all the guys fishing here at the moment. Oh, but yeah, um, also a, a good spot for, for fishing for Galjun. Okay, so we've got one of the younger anglers. Did you get anything today? Nothing for you today. Okay, this is going on YouTube. You want to say hi to anybody? Nothing, okay. Yeah, that's what everybody's telling us that the sea is very strong at the moment. Uh, and it's pulling, pulling, but they got two decent fish. Big ones? Yeah, okay, like 36 and 38 centimeters. Okay, 36 and a 38 centimeter. Yes. With a token sent in? Ah, there we go. So we found somebody that's already got two fish uh, and they're going to send it in. So there's a 36 and a 38 centimeter that's been sent in. Are you going any other spots now? No, we're going over there. Bait that you used? Uh, red bait. Red bait. Yeah. Nice mature red bait? Yeah, like three days. Three days. Yeah. They take out yourself or you buy? No, no, no. They take it out there at Buffles Bay. Okay. Okay, so took out red bait. Thank you very much. No, took out red bait uh, at Buffles Bay and matured it for three days um, and they've got two khalis so there's, there's somebody that got some fish already okay so we're gonna head down now let me quickly get up here and show you where the guys are fishing okay so this is the area that oh so many guys okay so this is the area that they are fishing today and uh, this area is called Groenvlei look at that surf picking up there at the back just look at that waves that's why we're not fishing uh, spear fishing today okay so the spot that we were just is around the corner, far way around the corner, um, at Wilderness. So we just passed Sessfield now and I'm quickly going to run down and see if I can talk to the guys here. And let's see. Yeah, the guys are starting to go home now um, because uh, the uh, high tide was quarter past eight. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Hey. Nice walk on the beach. Oh, did you get some? Two. Two. Is that the 38 and the 36 centimeter? Uh, 36. 36 centimeter. Nice, nice. So the guys are getting some fish. Okay. Oh, there's some young anglers. I'm going to go talk to them on the beach. Okay, here's another man going home. It's either very successful or unsuccessful. Which one was it? Unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. Are you from this area? I'm from George. Yes. George, bait that you use today? Uh, prawns. Red prawns. Oh, there's some nice prawns in there. Take out themselves. Where did you get those yeah. prawns? Um, Grootbrak. Grootbrak, they're in the estuary. Yes, there yes. we go. So the guys are going home. No success no, no, for no, this. No, we're going to Klein Kranz. Klein Kranz. Now, Klein next Klein. fishing. This man, any success? Only small ones. Only small ones? Nothing big, biggest? No, not size. Not size, okay. Yes, he has a man with some nice wheels. He walked far. By the looks of it, he went far. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing? Nothing. No success yet. Okay, so the guys are moving or done for the day? No, moving. Moving, moving. Okay, the guys are moving. So there's been a little bit of success and the other guys saying no success. So a lot of anglers and, and moving around. Like I said, wanted to say, it uh, was the tide was coming in. Uh, it was high tide at quarter past eight, and it is now. Let me just quickly check here. Uh, it's now ten o'clock. So the guys are moving around. Uh, if they haven't found the, the the spot, then they haven't found a good spot for fishing. They they moving around, um, trying. To hustle for that big prize, we'll sh and yeah, so that's why the guys are hustling and moving all around. Look at all the guys fishing. I'm gonna try and interview most of them. Here's another man on the beach. Are you also fishing in a competition? Not fishing in a competition, no. just fishing for, for, for food. No. What's your name, sir? Hendrik. Hendrik, where are you from? Park Dean. Park Dean. And have you caught anything today? Oh, there's not today. It's not right for fishing. <laughs> Today's not, not right for never, fishing. Never, never, what never. bait are you using? No, I buy red bait, pulchard, and but you nothing. Name it. Nothing, nothing. Oh. Not, no small fish, nothing. Nothing. No, oh. it's not a fish day today. Okay, he says it's not a fishing. And these men, the men that catch for food, they no. know when it's right for fishing. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm stopped now. He's gonna go home now. I'm gonna talk to this little man. I'm gonna talk to him in Afrikaans. Yes, look at him reeling. Look at that. Water. Who come you? 
Hoe gaan we met jou? Goed. Dus maak ik een YouTube video. Sê vir hulle, wat sy aas gebruik jy? Is rooie aas, het jou pa die aas vir jou aangesit? Jou opa? Waar is opa? Daar so, ons gaan nou met opa ook praat. Ok. Hier is blauwdam. So, kijk daar, blauwdam. Ja, blauwdam. Is dit jou boetie? Is jou boetie? Is jou maaikie? Morgen, morgen. Wat is jou naam? Kihanu. Kihanu. Ja, zei. En wat is jou aas gebruik jy? Rooi aas. En weet jy wat is jou kontrol het jy? Nee, nee. Nee, is jou piek bos. Ok. Het jy al iets gevang vandag? Nog niks. Nog niks nie? Maar jy moet een grote vang. Ok, sterkte manne, jy moet lekker vis vang. En dat was al twee groot buiten bij jou geweest. Ja, die is toch Het Hoe het hy gemaakt? Genade. Yes, like it. Dit moest een groot vis geweest het, nee. Hoe oud is jij nou? Sjewe. Sjewe, wat is jouw naam? Sam. Sam. Van waar was jy Sam? Van Bloemfontein af. Genade. Is jylle net hier so nou vir jou vir die visvangcompetitie? Nee, ja. Vang jylle in die competitie? As, ek hoop jylle manne ween, waar is jy ook van Bloemfontein af? Vind jij van George af? Oké, okay. sterkte man, ik wil jullie zien. Guys, so we've got two youngsters there um, fishing with their grandfather, and that's what it's all about, guys. Coming out, yes, it's a competition today, but uh, coming out and fishing with family and friends. So yeah, nice to see the youngsters, and uh, yeah, they know their stuff. <laughs> oh, okay, so we've got two gentlemen here. Is it your grand grandkids there? Yeah, they is. They is, they is. His grandkids? Yeah. Okay, they look like he's they know their stuff. Yeah. They, the, one, the one. The one, and the other one's his friend? Yeah. Okay, he says he's from Bloemfontein. No, no. The Sam? Yeah, I'm Sam. Oh, you Sam? Yeah. The little one's name? Sam. Also Sam. But he said he's from Bloemfontein. Yeah, he's talking. <laughs> the little man <laughs> said he's from <laughs> Bloemfontein, but uh, <laughs> is, he, is he a local from here? Yeah, he's from George. He's from George and he just told me he's from Bloemfontein. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Uh, uh, you guys are from George? Bait that you're using? Uh, just red bait. No, normally fish these spots? Why did you pick this spot today? Uh, just because of the water, it's a bit rough. Oh, it's very strong and rough. All the all the guys are struggling. Any luck yet? No, not really. We bet no luck. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna continue on. Yeah, Okay, we're gonna continue. We're gonna move on. Um, thank you very much for your time. For luck and you guys. Wait, wait, wait. Anything yet for today? Small. Small uh, size? Nah. Not even size. Nope. You see, there's some nice mature red bait. Obviously, that was taken out yourself. Where did you get them? Uh, they at Buffles. At Buffles. I just talked about the guys getting red bait at Buffles. Matured for how many days? About a week. About a week. Luckily, I had COVID, guys, so I still can't smell anything. It's about, been about two, three weeks now since I had COVID. My taste has come back, but I can't smell anything, so I can't even tell you how they smell. <laughs> bad. I'll, I'll have to ask them, how, how bad is the smell? It's really bad. Is it really bad? Okay, so I can't smell anything. You know, Sunday, when I cleaned the fish hatch, um, I stuck my head in there, and it's like nothing. So I'm still very lucky. I can't smell anything. I call it lucky. I don't miss the smell that much. Okay, so one small Kali size was that was 30, 40, 30, uh, 35. 35 centimeters. Did you send it in? No. You might be in the running. The biggest I've heard of was 36 centimeters. So yeah, might be in the running over here. Backing up. Ah, oh, uh, not backing still, up yet. Still fishing. <laughs> still fishing. Also red bait. Yep. That uh, like I said. Bad. Same batch, okay, also matured for a week. The Buffalo's Bay yeah. one. Okay, uh, tying a little hook on there. What size hook is that that you're using, sir? 2-0. Two 2-0. Zero. Two two zero. Zero. Yeah. Uh, and is that a circle hook? Yes. Circle hook, okay. So it's tying it on the stem. Yep. That's why if you use a circle hook, there's a specific way to tie it on the stem. You don't tie it like a normal hook. Otherwise, you can just as well use a normal hook, a J-hook. Yeah. Um, so yeah. But obviously just broken off. Oh, this one is also like a snail. Yes. There we go. Okay. Same, same, same one. You do a figure eight on the stem. Yeah. Yep. Here we've got our next angler. Morning, sir. Good morning. Where are you from? Uh, from George. From George. Also yes. fishing in a comp? 
Uh, no, we're just uh, having a fun day. Oh, just having some fun. Anything yeah. yet? Yeah, small collie over there. Small collie. That's the catch it. Is a catch, right? oh, catch is a catch. Size enough to eat? No. No size to eat. Okay. Back into the ocean. <laughs> that one's back in the ocean. Okay. Let's find our next angler. Here's a couple of men and women. They brought the woman with. Always fun to have the whole family with you. So let's see if these gentlemen are fishing in the competition. Morning! Are you guys also fishing in the competition? Yeah. Ah, yeah, we've got some more guys fishing in the competition. We're just making a little bit of a video for uh, Volkman. Okay, anything yet for today? No, we just arrived. Yeah. Just arrived. From where are you? From Nice. From Nice now. Okay. Yeah. Any other spots that you fished? We went to Buffalo Bay, but nothing there. Nothing at Buffalo's. Okay. So red bait, obviously then. No. Oh, something else than red bait. Oyster. Oyster. Okay. So the guys are fishing with oyster. Do you take out the oysters yourself? Buy them? No, we buy them. Buy them? Where did you buy them? Uh, Plain rock. Plain rock. Okay. So the guys got some oysters here. They're fishing for Khaljun with oyster. And uh, the guys are from nice now. So the first people we've met from other than George. It seems like the George guys are fishing here a lot. You all, the whole family fishing together? Yes. Wife and uh, everybody fishing together? Yes. Ah, that's what we'd like to see. The whole family joining in on the fun. Okay. So we're going to continue. Hopefully you can get that big one, sir. Morning, morning, morning. How are you? I'm good, and you? Are you, are you uh, just the support? Yeah. <laughs> okay, is so the relation there? What's the relation, relationship here? Uh, we're just friends. Just friends. Ooh, getting, go, go getting the friend card. Relation. Getting the friend <laughs> card out there. Just the friend <laughs> card. You've just been friend carded. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Um, are you guys also from Nysna? No. Okay, from Nysna. Getting some, uh, some, some lines in the water. Oh, that's a very nice cast. Yeah, that's the winning cast there, right there. Okay, we're going to talk to him when he comes back. He's just been friend carded. <laughs> He's just been out there, dealt the friend card. So we'll, we'll talk to him when he gets back here. Uh, uh, sir, you need to get back here quickly. So I'm going to first ask him. What's a, so, so what's the relationship state this year? What's the relationship state this year? Let me first find that out from you. <laughs> just friends. Just friends. friends. Oh! you got out the friend card as well there okay she gave you the friend card and you gave her the friend card straight back guy <laughs> have you know, do you know what gear you're using you have a assassin bluefish special here and a shimano um, sedona oh the, the guy knows his stuff um uh, yeah any bites yet no we, we were at buffalo bay nothing earlier. had a quite a few bites but okay nothing serious okay so nothing serious yet have you got your token and everything ready? Yeah. For that big one? Definitely. Okay, the guy's got his token ready, he's got everything ready, he just needs to fish. Yeah. And a girlfriend apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers guys! Yeah. Hope you catch one. Ooh, this looks interesting. Is there something on there? No, nothing on. Oh, it looked like something interesting. Uh, no rock. Oh, Again guys, I think it's the fourth time that I said it. This is why I didn't do rock and surf. I'll rather walk around and talk to the guys that's getting stuck than get stuck myself. <laughs> okay, so where are you from? From Nysna. From Nysna, okay. So it looks like this is more a Nysna spot than a George spot. Okay, so any luck here today? Yes, a small, small bell one this morning. Oh, a small bell one. Have you got it? It's, it was a oh, size yeah. release. Nice. Yeah. Back into the ocean for another guy to catch. Okay, so... Oh, he got loose. Oh, well done! Okay, so why this spot? Uh, normal spot for you? Normal spot for Which years. Spot? Oh, okay, for years been fishing this spot. Yeah. Okay, is it nice and open? I don't know this area very uh, well. So is it nice uh, and open? Has it been covered with uh, sand? What's covered going with on? Sand. Covered with sand. And uh, yeah, just the Belmont for today? Just yes, the Belmont. Yes. Okay, also fishing in the Derby? Yes. Okay, bait that you're using? Bloodworm. Bloodworm. Oh, the man from Nysna, he's got bloodworm. Yes. Okay, maybe, um, have you got some bloodworms here that I can show to the viewers? Yeah. We're making a video for wild fans for social media and stuff. So, yeah. Um, obviously taking out some nice bloodworm at, um, at Nysna. And, yeah, very, very good bait for, for everything, actually. Cob, um, Stiembras, Wit Stiembras will take a bloodworm. 
Uh, Bellman will take bloodworm. Kalyun will take Colstad will take. Yeah. Let's see a nice big bloodworm. There we go, guys. And that is what a nice bloodworm looks like. Okay, let's see how we put that on. Let's look at a bait presentation. Uh, hook size that you're using? 3-0. 3 -o. 3 -o circle or J-hook? J-hook. 3 j, -hook. J, -hook. j, -hook. j -hook. Okay, so let's see how that bait presentation looks. Okay, we start from the head. Okay. There we go. Wait, it just slides in. That before that set in, I take it out. I put it in again the side. Ah, okay. So why do you take it out and put it in again? So that they don't uh, slip off the hook. Ah, okay. And then you push it through? Yeah. All the way? No, not all the way. Reverse piece there. Okay. So halfway, take it out. Pull it around, put it in again. And there you have it. A very beautiful bloodworm bait presentation. Okay. And like I said, very versatile uh, bait to use. Good bait for estuary, good bait for surf because you can pick up a cop on that or a grunter, a white stem brush. And then also when you're fishing in the rocks, very good bait for Colster, Kalyun. Will a muscle crack also take that? Take it, yeah. yeah, muscle crack will also take a blood one. Okay. Okay, here we've got our next group of anglers. Morning, morning. Lucky than you guys. Oh, another blood worm. This must be more guys from Eisner. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> the nice now guys coming out, cutting out with the blood worm. That's that's the size of worm I like to use. A little bit of a smaller one. I don't like to use that big, big ones. Yeah, it's a bit of a waste. Then. Yeah, the big ones I normally put them back. I love the smaller blood worms. So yeah, yeah. this if you compare to that in your hand to the one that we just let me just get this one. There we Shit. go. There we go. Okay, so nice. that's a nice size blood worm. And just as we just explained, blood worm anything can take on that. Exactly. The guys next door have caught a bellman and a cop. That's it. Yep. So yeah, you guys any luck today? Uh, small ones, but uh, yeah, nothing, nothing. Nothing to send in for the comp. Uh, nothing. Yet, also yes. fishing in the comp. Yes, that's it. Oh, there we go. What time did you guys arrive here? Uh, we put it just after six, eh? <laughs> cold. It was a bit cold. <laughs> <laughs> was it? <laughs> was a bit cold. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There's another man just cast in. Also a blood worm? Yeah, red bait. Red bait, okay. Did you take out the red bait yourself? Yes. Ah, true angler. Taking out his own bait. Matured for how many days? Uh, three days. Three days matured. That seems to be the, 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 the average mature date for, for, for bait. Yes. And uh, get it you're using? We've got a Shimano. Sedona. Sedona. And a rod? Akuma. Akuma Precision 14 foot. Okay, and fishing worth is that braid or? That's braid, yes. Braid? Ah! The guys are fishing with braid. Okay, any luck today? Uh, two I put back, two small ones. Uh, centimeters on those? Uh, 32, 33, 32. Okay. Yes, so, Okay, at this spot. Yes. Okay, so the guys are getting some fish here. We've heard of a 36 and a 38 in, the, in this area, and now another 32 and a 33. Yes. I hope you get that big one. Morning! Any luck yet? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Oh, seems that he's been the angler here. Yeah, he's, he's an anchor here. It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> he's, the, he's not the angler, he's the anchor. <laughs> anchor, anchor, everything. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Uh, bait that you're using? Red bait. Also red bait. Yeah. Also take, uh, taken out yourself? Yeah. Uh, at which spot was that? Uh, that's the place. Yeah, by, uh, oh, okay. Red area. Yeah. Okay, because most of the guys seem to be taking out red bait at either Buffels or Groot Brak. That yeah, seems to be the, the, the two spots that they get their bait from. Yeah. Okay, good luck. I hope you get something. Luck in you. Okay, so here the guys are fishing. Any luck today? Uh, any little gold types. Uh, nothing else. Collies. Collies. Nothing else than collies. Hopefully the water pushes back so you have the rocks. That's what everybody keeps telling me. Yeah. They're waiting for the water to pull back a little bit. Uh, been quiet. The earlier guys think we have got... Uh, the same spot for an ice study. What size? I didn't see there. So okay, so the size. biggest we've heard from, from all the guys that's walking back and everything was a 38. Oh, it's been a 36 and a 38. Okay. Okay, legal size for Khali? 35. 35, okay. Yeah. So there's a couple of fish that has been entered into the comp. There's at least a 36 and a 38 we know of. Also fishing in the comp? Yeah, I am. Okay, also fishing in the yeah. comp. Bait that you're using? 
Uh, I got some red baits out. Yeah, red no, baits? Red baits. You take out yourself? Yeah. And? Uh, the washed up at Buffalo Bay. Ah, another from the Buffalo yeah, Bay batch. Nice, front one. Hey, how many did they mature? Yeah, I don't know. Three, four, five, yeah, six, I seven? Like four days there. Four days oh. matured. Okay. Oh. Are you fishing? No, I'm just running uh, around. I don't do rock and surf. I don't get stuck. I hate getting <laughs> stuck. I will rather swim between the, the rocks and uh, I'm not swimming in that today. That I can promise you. <laughs> I'm also not going out through that surf today. So that's why I'm running around on the beach. And uh, yeah, it's actually just fun running around and yeah, getting, like getting everybody's stories. Yeah. What time did you get up to get here? Uh, we got up at uh, half past four. Eh? Half, half past four. four. It was cold. It was cold. Yeah, I had a nice sleep in. I only got up at half past seven. The kids woke me up and the dogs woke me up. So I was only up half past seven. And then when I got here, I was uh, down here with a nice cup of coffee. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so not like these guys with red by the hands. Yeah, and, uh, no, yeah. yeah, luckily I just told the other guys I had COVID, so I can't smell anything. Yet. <laughs> so it's still gone. Like three weeks, three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, and uh, yeah, can't still smell anything. So using a uh, cleaning out of fish hatch in a boat and standing next to guys with the red baits and no problem for me yet <laughs> hope you get Thank that you. big one yeah, cheers oh yes luckily i've got my boots on today <laughs> i'm not going out in that today how are you doing all right man. Oh, good 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 yeah anything yet a couple of pickers yeah. bait uh, red bait and also the bubbles bait. buy red bait or did uh, you buy red bait? No, I actually found some red bait. Nice, man. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Okay, so there's nice red bait as well. And uh, what time did you get up? Quarter to four. Quarter, quarter, five. quarter, quarter to five. five. Quarter to five. These, these rock and surf guys, they, they are hardcore guys. The rock and surf guys are really, really hardcore. So come, come out here and stand in, in that conditions. The hardcore is the little seven-year-old fishing man. Oh, there's a little man that I missed. A little lady. Little lady. I'm going to go and interview her. Okay, so we've got another couple of guys fishing. Morning, guys. Where are you guys from? From George. From George. Hey, there we go. From George. Another couple of guys from George making the drive. What time did you get up? Uh, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. That's more my kind of fisherman. So Not the quarter to four guys. Early the morning first class. Yeah. Else. What did you get? Only a 32 centimeter. 32 gully. centimeter gully. Oh, only small one today. Is fishing in the comp? Yeah, yeah. Okay, fishing in the comp. So, uh, did you send that one in? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, release as well. As the what? Obviously, release ah, as well. Yes, yes, yes. Obviously, release. Legal size 35. Anything for you, man? Nothing. Nothing for the man. <laughs> oh, nothing for the man. Okay, bait that you guys are using? Uh, only red bait. Red bait, take out yourself? Yeah. Ah. Rotten ones and fresh ones. There we go. So we've got rotten ones. How many days with church? No, no, nothing with church. Only nothing two, with church. Only two days standing and rotten a bit. Then. Two days, Three. two days standing. And uh, yeah, here we go. Why this spot, sir? Yeah. We were here with Uncle Boot, with your honest. Okay. So they were casting that time and we this side. So. It's fine. Yes, yes, fire. Yeah. Oh! Oh, Pai Zili, one of my friends. Is he over there? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I'm going to head over to Pai. He's, Hope you get the big one. He's the one lying there. Lying? <laughs> ah! I'm going to get over there to Pai Zili. I, haven't, I didn't even know that he was catching in a, in a, uh, in a derby. But yeah, I'm going to head over there to Pai. He's one of my best friends. Um, yeah, we've, we've see, you've seen him actually. He's been on the boat with us. Um, yeah, so let's see where Pai is at. He's a, he's a, oh, he's a very, very experienced fisherman. He knows his stuff. He's been fishing this area. He grew up in this area. His dad grew up in this area. So yeah, let's talk to Pai. Hello, Pai. Running into Pai on the beach. Opie beach. beach. Does Mazel know you're here? Does Mazel know you're here? Every single time I ask Pai if he wants to go fishing with us, he says that Mazel is running, he has to look after Ailey. So today, not running today. To, to, today Mazel is not running today, so Mazel is obviously looking after Ailey today. Yeah, how are you, my friend? Caught anything yet? 
nothing. Nothing. Uh, I put it for the small volume. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So the guys, if I would cut yeah. your rods over there and stand here. No man, you must be close to your rod. No. Let's walk over there. What bait are you using, Pai? Red bait. You didn't buy red bait. You obviously got red bait yourself. No, I bought some. Pai bought some red bait. <laughs> <gasps> no, Pai. Pai is the guy that goes out and gets all his bait octopus i've been so many times gone uh, getting octopus with with um with pie he gets all his bait self so he must have been really really busy at work for him my look you one other one of my friends Pira. <laughs> peter what is happening here we are What's fishing happening? what do you think we're doing the yeah. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to speak English. No. You, you can Afrikaans praat. Ek sal het, ek sal die subtitles in sê. Ja, sit subtitles in, repeat. Koza en Isi Zulu, as a bleep. Maar jy kan, wat het die Isi Zulu vir ons? Nee, nee, nee. Nee, nee, nee. Nee, so, Pieter het ook al sy kinders by die huis gelos. En as ek sê al sy kinders, bedoel ek al drie van hulle. Ek het nie Dirk as die sal. <laughs> ja, kan nie so maak met Dirk, ja, ek sal nou, ek sal nou met Dirk gaan gesels al onder, maar um, ja, so, Pieter, aas het nou gebruik, het jy ook um, soos, soos, paai aas gaan koop? Ja, ek skuldig, ek skuldig, as het die aas hier gekoop, paai was die paas om te gaan snui, hy het die groot mis en hy het gaan een bakkie vraag rooi aas breng, we krijgen nie enkele rooi aas, not a single, not en, nie een stikkie nie. En, en hoeveel keer het jy al afgebrek vandag? Ja, ek het een galeen gevang. Het? Ja, ja, ja. ja. Pieter een galeen gevang, Saas? Ek het die eerste galeen gevang, in die hele competitie. Ek het gemeet nie, maar ek het om ingeskryf. Het jy het ook in, ok, ja, ja, ja. so hy het om nie gemeet nie, maar hy het om saam die tag ingeskryf. Ek skryf is het, skryf die vaar daar rond, miskien? Maybe legal. Op die, op die, op die grens, op die grens. Ok, so, so, ons het 35, 36 en 38, dit is die drie grootste wat van ons weet so ver. Wat is dit? Ja. Wat die mense gevraai het, die so? Ja, ja, so daar is, sorry Piet, jy het derde op die video, maar, weet jy wat, dit is beter as die ene. Ok, hier kom Dirk. Dirk, jy like jy happy nie? Hier kom, hier kom Piet sy vierde kind. Nog niks gevang nie? Ek sê mooi hoed wat ek vir hom gekoop het. Wat sy hoed is dit? Vir my is dit fancy. Ach, genie, ok. Hy draai ook nie industrial sy kei. Dirk, is jy een gewone hengelaar? Is hier die uitsondering vir jou? Ek gaan so nou en dan. So nou en dan? Ja, so eenmaal in, eenmaal ek het twee weke, sal ek die uitgaan. Hoi, hoe reik hy Piet? Kan jy vir ons vertel hoe hy reik asjeblief? Ja. Is hy matjoer? Ek weet nie, jy het nie... Is hy matjoer? Het paard is veel matjoer? Nee, ek het hom self matjoer. Self matjoer? Draai uit. Draai uit. Het jy hom... Wat sê... Wat sê... Wat sê mama van die ookie? Oh nee, die ookie blij in die garage ijskas. Garage ijskas? Maar wat het jy hom gematjoer? Ek het hom... Hy is nog matjoer gewees. O, was hy somme matjoer? Hierdie ouwe in sy ons is so smak. Het jy sliding sinker hier, Piet? Ja, met drie. Ok, so as ons sê sliding sinker, dan gebruik ons twee swivels hier so en die sinkerkie is los. So ek weet nie of jylle dit kan sien nie. Dus hy is los. Ok, en... Is ons een trein moet jy eindelijk pas wees? Dit is ook om ek vraag. Nee, maar ek hou van die sliding, ek hou van die sliding. Ok, ek hou van die sliding, hy hou hem net stuif. Dit klink my goed as jy hom net stuif hou, Piet. Ok, wat is hier aan die gang? Ek sien hier is een interessante knoopie, Dirk. Ja, dit is die makkelijkste, as jy afbreek en om vinnig weer in die water te kom. Vinnig weer in die water te kom? Baie interessante knoopie wat Dirk hier in die gang het. Ons besluit toe, ons gebruik nie een swivel nie. Nee. Nee, ek sal nou sê wat sy knoop het, mens het noem, maar ek mag nie op nationale TV dit sê nie. Piet, Pieter Goos, his daughter has been with my little boy in class since they were babies. So we've known each other for a couple of years. Here's another man coming up. Morning, morning. Any luck? What's your plan? Nothing yet. Strength positive. <laughs> A strength positive no. <laughs> that's it. That's, I haven't heard that one before. A strength positive no. But... In the 10th place, with the value of 44 cm, that was via Roberts. He is in any case now not here. So, we say we are lucky now. Negende plek, Roan Westra. 
Met een gazoen van 45 centimeter. Al gaat je, jou my lief. Jou in de midtijd, ja, ek wil sê die kraai bij spoken. Achtste plek. Ben. Met een gazoen van 47 centimeter. Zesde plek. Hij is boor jou. Boeta. Gazoen van 48 centimeter. Baie mooie visse, dit is baie mooie visse, maar ja, dit, dit is, dit is bykie min gewees, bykie min, bykie min. Prijse, meer prijse is het nie so. Geef ons meer sponsors, Boeta, geef ons meer prijse gee. Right, vijfde plek, vijfde zwaarste gaan doen. Hy win prijswaarde, 2300 rand. Hy het ook een baie mooie video gestuur van die vis wat hy gerelease het. Um, ek moet vir hom sê baie dankie. Enrico Lees, galjoen 49 cm van 2.94 kg. Wel dan. Jullie mag hem maar aan de klap geven, kerels. Hier is zo. Mooi in Rico hoor. Oké. Vierde zwaarste galjoen. Sean Ainsley. Galjoen van 51.5 centimeter. 3.42 kilogram. Baie mooi galjoen. En hij win de prijswaarde van 3100 rand. Well done. Derde plek. Adrian de Bruin. Een galjoen van 52.5 centimeter. 3.65 kilogram. En hij wint een prijsgeld van 6200 rand. Wel dan. Right, jullie hebben nu net iets voor. Wat is er van jullie dan nou in die vis gewin? Want is je dan meer te rijden? Hoe nou? John, jullie zijn een groot piano ook, nee? Um, John, kan je slecht voor eens andere die vis gewinnen? Wat is dat? Oké, right, kom eens kijken wie het gewin. Tweede plek. Yes, is exactly. Een okay. galjoen van 52,7 centimeter, 3,71 kilogram, André Olivier en hij ben de totale prijswaarde van 8.300 rand. Wel dan André. Dus die nou gaan we die mensen mond nooit stil krijgen. Zeg maar mijn Nooit, nooit, nooit. Hij gaat raas. Oké, okay, John Bay, jij is kampioen van 2021. Hij vangt een galjoen van 53 centimeter, 3,76 kilo's. En hij heeft een prijsgeld van 10.500 rand. Wel dan, John Bay. Ja, nu die lucky doos heb ik wat licht hier. Oké, okay, kom eens kijken. Ik wil gewoon nog acht lucky doos trekken. Als ons. Ik heb het
One of those uh, that this is down. 271. Okay, open face. Yeah, I say. Yeah. So, you want to open face? Yeah. And uh, you stop. 215, 215. Blue Marlin, blank. Blue Marlin, blank. 14 foot. Okay. And uh, Hookie? 200. Uh, Circle Hookie. Circle Hookie. Okay. Bye bye. Good luck. And can you give me a chance? 376. Come on, 376. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Okay guys, that wraps up this episode. Uh, subscribe, like this, and leave some comments. I'm gonna head out and watch a rugby now.